short and a quick transit of the next seven days so mercury and venus are in scorpio till 7th of january now mercury will move on from scorpio to sagittarius and venus will be in Sag uh, scorpio for another days uh, i guess it's still 17th I'll, I'll check it but yes till 7th both of them are together now whenever mercury venus comes together it's a very interesting combination because mercury venus are great planets but they behave in very weird ways when they are together sometimes why do i say that because mercury gets exalted in virgo and venus gets debilitated in virgo and mercury gets debilitated in pisces where venus gets exalted so it's like saying they are two very good friends but they have some energies which are common and some energies which are drastically different okay so the question is what happens when these two energies are in Scorpio that's the interesting thing that we are going to discuss today all right and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation you will find my website down in the description section and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and uh, share it with somebody who wants to know how the upcoming seven days will be so now mercury venus two of the natural benefits now some say mercury is a conditional benefit but let's assume it is also a natural benefit so when these two benefits combine what happens is they enhance some of each other's traits okay so mercury represents communication calculation money and uh, venus represents beauty art communication uh, also you know in in terms of beautifying something you know beautifying your creation and venus represents anything that has to do with feel good factor okay so whenever we are talking of venus you have to understand you are talking of something which is not just for its literal value it is more or rather equally about the presentation and the externals okay so for example anything if you drink uh, something very simple you go to some local fruit seller and you uh, get some coconut juice it's like uh, that that's normal drink okay but now if you go to a five star hotel and you drink the same juice <laughs> with, uh, with, with with like a hundred x the charge or maybe 20 x 30 x then that becomes venus so there is some element of luxury some element of comfort you know they will strain the juice you know there will be some refinement okay so that is basically venus so when you refine anything that becomes venus venus is not just literal luxury you know it could be anything you know it could be literally anything that you refine and make it more beautiful that literally becomes venus it is not just beauty products okay and that is why beauty products represent venus because they are used to make something more attractive than they are okay but then when they come together mercury venus comes together there are other problems also which comes okay which means the mercurian aspect creates some problems which means you start thinking in terms of money you become more calculative okay this is good that is bad what should i do should i spend this money should i not spend this money should i spend it here should i spend it there should i do this should i do that okay so this is where there is a considerable amount of challenge with this uh, with this conjunction where mercury is uh, the the traits of venus some of the traits are getting enhanced which means now you want more beauty more luxury more refinement but at the same time you want it for a cheaper price so how can that happen right so this is where there is anxiety because wherever there is calculation wherever there is money wherever there is finance there is anxiety so mercury venus conjunction can sometimes hinder people to enjoy selflessly or to enjoy uh, just for the sake of feeling good without thinking too much about the price or uh, the amount they are paying so because of that what happens there's this guilt factor which comes in okay because now you are also thinking oh i am spending so much money for this okay so therefore now when these two uh, amazingly contradictory planets 
<laughs> are in the sign of Scorpio then what happens is this anxiety becomes more and what happens when the anxiety is more you have a tendency to blast right when anxiety is reaching the peak what happens you are very concerned about every single damn thing that is happening and you start to believe that you should get the best out of everything not just quantitatively also qualitatively okay because luxury is about quality and money is about quantity <laughs> right so if i give you 10 notes of 10 dollar or 100 dollars you know qualitatively it is the same i mean assuming they are not one or two of them are not torn they are of the same value they have the same quality okay even though one is bit old one is new you know unless uh, it's not cancelled by the government it has the same value ten dollar but when it comes to luxury it is maybe uh, not about quantity so much you know a quantity is also important but it's like oh quality what's the quality of this food what's the quality of the perfume what's the quality of the car so it's like that okay so therefore this tug of war between quality and quantity comes that creates anxiety because you want more quality and also more quantity okay so because of this you try to keep everything for yourself and then what happens relationships are strained because you don't want to give you want to keep everything for yourself so anytime you are feeling that Hmm, this conjunction is uh, forcing me or rather inspiring me to think too much about myself now uh, then you need to understand that there are limitations in this material world as Lord Krishna says you know uh, he says no, manashasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati that the living entity is working very hard foaming in the mouth to fulfill his desires okay manashasthani indriyani the desires of the mind okay Prakriti Sthani Karshati is like very hard. It's working, working, working 8, hour, eight hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, 18 hours, even 20 hours sometimes. Okay. So therefore, if you feel that you are having too much anxiety because you are not able to delve into luxury or you, you, you are delving but you are not able to get discounts or something like that, then you have to understand that you need to be realistic because this conjunction can actually wreak havoc because this is in a water sign water sign gives emotions and scorpio is the sign of intensity so especially with your near and dear ones you have to be very careful that you do not speak things which you regret later okay if you do it then uh, you you may not be forgiven later on all right so therefore be careful of what you are speaking how you are speaking when you are speaking and i'm sure you will be able to navigate through this transit and also make sure that you spend reasonably and when you are spending something make sure you enjoy that all right so spend enjoy have fun be in your limits and don't abuse others all right thank you so much please take care